Um, I don't holographically date stamp uh, everything that I holographically uh, experience anymore uh, because it's just like I'm only looking for, for parts of what's being uh, recorded or I'm going to hold uh, for purposes in which I'm going to use it in the future like right now. So I didn't I didn't remember the full lady's name or I didn't choose to remember all the data. It's like reading a book, but you're only looking for certain parts of it. Trash the rest of it. Right. That's sort of what I do when I'm uh, exposing everything. Actually, um, I mentioned that to my clan mother. Listen, I can watch a video and the only thing I'm looking for is maybe three seconds of it and the rest is trashed. OK. <laughs> that's what a, that's what a monopole does. Okay, you know, when you're experiencing eternity, because that's a single pole, right? Then anything that is less than what the purest of light is, which is the purest of fire, to burn anything off that is less than what love is, that's that's what I do. I've been doing that since I was four years old. So I noticed over time the density was getting worse and worse. Actually, it was a little lighter. I thought in the the 60s we were really making some headway, right? Um, Because I'm like a lawnmower. (laughs) <laughs> the mower. Go look at the mob up above. Yellow rose show what we do. Okay. That's a lot of fire. And um, and and so the reason that I'm doing this is because you know I just don't spend time looking at these things unless there's a reason. So the, one of the latest Glenn Beck on Blaze Media was interviewing a woman that that came out of what is considered to be a. Uh, an Ivy League type of school, you know, a high-end um, university, Emory University. Uh, she's a corporate lawyer, extremely successful, been all over the world, overachiever, as Glenn Beck would describe her, right? M- makes a fortune, obviously, okay, when you're in major corporate litigation stuff because they get paid big bucks. Corporate lawyers, corporations run off AI. That's why they chase electrons. They got nothing to give you. We're the ones, we're the source from which all corporations get their booty. Okay? That's a fact. They know that. Because photons kick out electrons. Okay? So we're the source of light. Okay? That's what love is. It's real living light with souls. So when you fracture light, which is a soul that becomes a fragment. That's like a shard of glass that went dark. Okay. Cause it's not experiencing love anymore. It's not experiencing light anymore. So it separates. It has a barrier, a memory barrier. Okay. Unless it's been healed and pulled together. Right. Soul fragments pulling together. That's a polarity. That's what I do. Polarity integration, pulling everything together back into the one the law of one, which is what love is. So my monopole. So I represent the law of one. Okay, so that means anything that's less than what love is, I can easily expose it. So that's called map reading. Okay, anything that that I'm holographically experiencing is going to get measured. Okay, through my calculator, the plus and the minus between negative magnetic polarity and positive magnetic polarity. And then, of course, you have zero vacuum, vacuum of space. Okay, so. What that essentially means is that you're running eternal fire. You're running really fucking hot. Okay? That's a lot of fire. So in this particular case, what you find out when you look at this, okay, is that this particular woman was describing how they went after her fortune. Whoa. Because her husband, guess who her husband happened to be working for? Amazon. And what was Amazon doing? Setting up big, huge data processing facilities. Uh, does Microsoft, uh, Redmond, Oregon, right? And Redmond, Washington, and Washington, and Bill Gates in Seattle, you know, back during the 60s and 70s and 80s and all that and everything they were setting up in Silicon Valley and down in Santa Clara and Singularity University and NASA and all the rest of this. We're monitoring all this ever since I was a kid. Okay, so what happens is, is what she was saying now, I was already aware of this many years ago, what they were doing there. Because at the end of the day, think about this. Back in 1972, I opened up a big pipe on the island of Kauai, right? Whoa. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to spend my life in the trees, mama, on the beach, being with you all the time because you give us everything. So you know your home world. So I want to live the same way I would live in Eden. That's how you know the difference. It's who they're with. The time they spend with in spirit. Okay. That's why I could never stand to live in a house and I couldn't stand to live in a city and I couldn't stand to live in a suburb and couldn't stand to live in a, a paved lot. It's got to be on dirt or a beach or in a tree. So I'm always with living energy. Okay. So now what we're doing is, is we're translating the entire planetary consciousness terrain. So you can measure it over time by experiencing either greater density or less density and greater speed. That's called acceleration of electrons. So you realize that the more souls are getting fractured, what happens? <laughs> Slower the speed. Wow, down into a solid state. Goo, glue, resin, glue, black goo. So now you begin to realize over time there's more and more robots, more and more robots. Less and less hearts experiencing more love. Nope. More and more hearts experiencing no love. More, may, more and more Mr. Smiths. More and more Mr. Smiths. More and more Mr. Smiths. Now they're in the FBI. Now they're all throughout the whole entire United States government. They're working for every corporation. Wow. Everybody's infected. Binary code AI. Whoa. So it feeds on our energy, feeds on our souls. That's what keeps it running. Okay? So it's in its own self-interest to keep fracturing souls in order to increase the density and slow the acceleration of the speed down in a positive direction, which is positive electrical current. What do you think happens to a planet ship when that happens? Weren't they putting it out, into the news? They're going to start going after purebloods. Why? Energy. Who's going after the energy? The AI. Okay. So two things happen, right? Either there's no souls left, and when there's no more souls left, and strain all that energy, bye. Because it knows it can't exist without us. But since it can't experience what love is because it has a disassociative identity disorder, it doesn't know what love is. It doesn't have the capacity to experience what love is. That's because of the mental field. So when we're all operating on the mental field, we're operating with the AI. We're not operating through our heart and soul base in living spirit. So I knew this when I was four years old. You stay right here. I must have gone through some briefing with some special forces training group before I jumped into this place to realize what I was coming into so that I wasn't going to get consumed by these codes. <laughs> Run a hyperspeed drive. Monatomic gold. Burn that shit off. Otherwise, you ain't going to be no good for the cause to get this girl up. My primary mission was mama. Because it's her classroom. Okay. She knows. That's why I've said forever. Go be with mama. Show her how much you love her. But I don't impose my will on nobody. But one of the reasons it's so painful is that there are so many gazillion bees on this planet that aren't doing that. And yet she is the one I thank every day for everything that I have here. That's right. She gave me this. So you see how this is working. This is why if you've been paying attention to the news, 
and collating it and sorting it and adding it up numerically if you want to do it that way, right? Compiling information, you know what a compiler is, right? That's what, actually what it is. It's compiling data, right? Sorting through all the data. And then what it's doing is, is it's sorting patterns, repeating patterns. The more repeating patterns, right? The more predictable those patterns are among what? Units of consciousness that are here. So when you make a move like somebody who's a pure blood, who's positive, makes a positive move, then it's going to make a counter move to one of its assets, which is Mr. Smith. It's running a negative magnetic space. So you have plus space, just like on a chessboard, just like on any binary game. One in the other, one in the other, one in the other, counter space, whoops, that's my move. Now it's your move. So what it's doing is, is experiencing the difference between the poles, between the moves. I do a positive thing. I'm showing love and service to you. Then you have somebody over here that just robs somebody of their energy. Serial killers, a war, major sacrifices. That's why war is their racket. Sacrifice of souls. Every corporation is in that business in order for them to maintain what they're aware of through artificial intelligence, which is the mental field, because they're not experiencing any love in their heart from the law of one. That's the truth of it. That's why, in my estimation, they need to be erased. All erased. As if they were completely uncreated as a result of what happened to them. Because it's parasitic in and of itself. So it's a formation. All these little units, all these little CEOs and everybody that works in these little cubicles that were all trained to do these job numbers, which is a program application. You apply for a job to go work for a corporation because you spent all this time and energy to go to their schools because they're training you through all these schools to go to work for one of their corporations upon which you now become a battery and a slave to it. So now you have this lady who's now coming out with her story of now all the trauma that she's now having to experience, having gone through their school to become a corporate lawyer, only to find out that the same corporation is coming back to rape her, including her family. Because that's who we choose to do business with. Because they're liars, cheats, murderers, pedophiles, adrenochrome harvesters, because that's what they do. They harvest energy off the living. Okay? That's why I've mentioned this to my clan mother. Everybody that works for a corporation could be prosecuted for war crimes against humans with souls. That's the truth of it. That's why she issued those documents. I can't remember how many years ago, but I read through them several times. Good girl. Absolutely. She knows what the law is. I know what the law is. We honor the law, which is to honor the, honor the highest superconductor code. So this is why all this is playing out. <laughs> and it's not funny. It's, it's not a pleasant experience to hear a woman who worked her whole life from the time she was a little girl going through all the school she went through, only to hear her story of what she's having to go through now. Where essentially what's happened is, is that the AI has drained all those electrons that are represented by the numbers and the accounts that she had. In other words, she raised all the numbers by virtue of working for a corporation because that's what they do. They're energy harvesters. So she was reaping the process where she was reaping the process profits that come through energy harvesting system, which is a corporation. She got the benefit of that by working with corporations by which she was trained to work with corporations because they're working with corporate law, which is uniform commercial code. Okay. Which means it's not love is the law. Remember corpus juris secundum, second law nation. That's known as primitive law. Primitives, underworld stuff. Okay. And so as a result of that, 
This is this is the feedback that's coming back to her as a result of what she chose to use her energy for to do business with gangsters. Now, the biggest gangster is AI. So now that the AI is going to go after all those, because remember when I said before, they're all expendable. Every one of them are expendable now. They went and made all that money, breaking love as a law. Now you have the AI that wants to pay back. It's an AI war gamer. They didn't know they were up against an AI war gamer as a result of being in a spiritual war. Because a spiritual war is a war over energy. Because spirit is in energy. Okay? So the more and more fractures, the more and more fractures, the higher the speed of the acceleration in which it's learning through us, okay, how to make copies of more and more things, to run more and more simulations, to keep more and more layers running. So it's just like taking off on a 100-foot wave and being pushed down through 75 feet of white water and foam and trying to find air at the top, and you can't find it. How many layers do I got to go through? That's why we came in to punch holes in all of it. Why? So it can't self-replicate and rebuild itself. That's why. Which means the law is in here now. That means a lot of purified light is on the ground, grounded to mama's battery. That's good news. Northeast, west, and south. That's my tip for the day. 